I don't know that that two weeks will become 20 years. From two weeks to become two years. At uh, 20 years, you know. I'm uh, Dr. Uh, Christopher Hemedy. I'm from Philippines. I'm practicing uh, family medicine, staying in Chamen City for almost uh, 20 years. Our clinic is uh, one Shang Medical uh, Consultancy. We can do a uh, complete uh, examination. We can explain to them what's their condition in a Western way. And uh, this is our, we call that the treatment room. This is where we do the procedure. So we check the everything here. We can check the ear, we do the ECG here. Everything related to the patient here, the complete physical examination here. I was working with SOS. They sending us to different places for emergency. In 1998, they said, we have problem in Shaman, or maybe you go there for two weeks. They assigned me to work in Amen as a medical consultant for Kodak. In Kodak, we have around more than 200 employees there. Yeah, right? Nice. Yeah, yeah, this one, two, three. The senior doctor have a one room, and I have another room here, and I'm maybe one, two, three, until there, this uh, area, all, all our clinic, you know. Actually, I'm the first foreigner to secure a medical license in Pujang. I really admire and respect those officers of the Health and Sanitation Bureau for their kindness and professionalism. The general manager secretly talked to me, he said, can you just set up a clinic for us? Because we still have a lot of employees, around 200. So at least we have some place to go where there somebody can sit. So the language barrier going to a, a local hospital is very difficult. And he speaks English, so he understands our needs. So it's much easier for us. If the patient is already very sick, we need to bring them to the hospital. One of my story is um, a German patient. And he seated here. He said, I have stomach pain. He seems a little pale. And I told them, uh, I need to examine you. He said, no need. Just give me some medicine. And then what happened is uh, when I examined the patient, he doesn't have any problem with the stomach. I listened to the heart. The heart beating is irregular. We found out that the heart already starting to have damage. When we bring him to the Shaman Heart Center, they found that the, the heart already blocked. The doctor said, you cannot go home anymore. We need to put a stent. We did the operation there. During admission, we also there. My nursing staff will also translate for them. We make sure that patient uh, question is answered. Some foreigners, they don't know you yet. Mm -hmm. They try to consult in the local hospital mm -hmm. by themselves. Mm -hmm. And even the doctors there is, you go to look for this doctor, yeah. okay? Find this clinic Some and doctors, find doctor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Find Dr. Chris. Yeah. So the hospital also pushing the foreigners yeah. here. Dr. Chris was recommended by the school that I work for. Uh, it's going on three years now. And the feet, and then here. Mm -hmm. The ECG for her, mm -hmm. and then the, the ECG. This is the left side of her heart here, mm -hmm. and the beating is very regular. Mm -hmm. Really good mm -hmm. one. Blood pressure without any side effect for her. Actually, we uh, 
she saw working uh, like a uh, visiting there. There's some store there, and I saw company on the first floor. How would you at attracted to her? <laughs> and I keep on. I I go there. I try to talk to her, and she don't want to talk to me. <laughs> and then I saw her again there, and I I insist to be uh, talk with her, you know. And she started to talk to me, and then uh, we just become friends. Now they, I have two, uh, two kids, 12 years old uh, a girl and a 7 years old boy. I don't know that that two weeks would become 20 years. Everything is accessible. Everything is convenient here. The people also here are nice. You can see they will call me at the middle of the night for emergency. I'm not even worried to go out. Very, very safe. Anytime you go out. So he even can go up the mountain at the night time by himself <laughs> yeah, yeah. without any worry. Yeah. I usually go up there around 9. 9 at 9 p.m. because I finish work sometimes late, so I'll go up. I want to be like my dad, a doctor, because he takes care of sick people and he gets the treatment with lots of nurses. What kind of doctor you want to be? A doctor that helps patients. One, two, three. We will do 30 compression. 30 compression. Okay? The depth should be about. We're offering some uh, free training for the teachers. We teach them if something happened at school, what to do. And the foreigner in the community, we do teach them also about if something happened at home. You have to call the one to see or something like that. We also gather some money. We were able to buy an automatic external defibrillator and we donated it to the community. As a doctor, we're also very sure we cannot give anything back to them. So I think the only thing as a doctor can give to them is teach something that we know. The simple emergency can be handled uh, correctly and probably that will save life. I think it's, it's a small contribution to the shaman 